Aloha. I'm Glenn Polypoy. I'm Chad Nielsen. I'm Ken Elledge. We are the Backstreet Boys. And we are going to show you how to make an automated uh, invoice system. Uh, as, we can, as you can see, we started off uh, with a customer base. We have a whole list over here. And so you can uh, set it up like this if you want. And it's just an example. Uh, we have products as well for sale. And this is our custom made invoice. You can have it set up like this or however you want. But the most important part would be how to set up an, a, an invoice where it would bring out the database for customers and also products and just bring it up instead of cus uh, uh, manually typing it one by one. And uh, we will show you how to use the VLOOKUP function and also how to protect it. So we will uh, begin with the VLOOKUP with Chad. Now just to take a look at what the VLOOKUP does, let's go to customer number. We're going to change the 1 to a 2. That's part's pretty cool. When you press enter, it changes the name. It also changes the city, country, address, everything to discount. And that's taken from this, this, this customer name 2 because we just typed in the number 2 there. And that's basically what the VLOOKUP does. It, it saves you time by entering a lot of information. So to enter in this equation we're going to go to formulas and then we're going to insert function that's where we type in oh actually one second we have everything locked we're going to go back and unlock it this is a uh, something that we're going to show you here at the end and we're going to type in our password that's aloha um so now we're uh we're okay and we're unlocked Okay, sorry about that. We got it unlocked here. So just check, take a look at the top here at our, our VLOOK formula. Um, so to um, enter this formula, we got to go to, um, just again, we're going to go to formulas, insert function. And as we type in VLOOK, this pops up. Now C9 is important. We're going to click on cell C9. That's our customer number. That's the anchor to everything we're doing. That's where you put in the number, all the information pops up. Next, we're going to go to table array. And that's where you go to customers. We probably want to highlight table array just to change. And then, yeah, we'd highlight the entire table. And here, we're going to highlight the entire table, put it in table array, and that gives us all our information that is necessary um, for the entire thing. So this VLOOKUP can draw from it. As you can see, we delete it. Then we, we're going to highlight it. We're going to put it all in. And there we go. So all the sales. Next, we're going to do number two. The reason to do that, num number two, is because that's the customer name if you put in two. So, for instance, if you put in three, that would be the addresses, and four would be city. But for right now, we need two for customer name. And lastly, we're going to put in the word false. That way, it brings up all the true information. Anything false would be um, NA and will not work. Um, so that, 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 that takes care of all of our uh, equations. And so we're going to have to go through and change each one of the red zones. And so here are street addresses. We're going to change it to a 3. And the reason we do that is because the third one is addresses. And fourth would be city, fifth state. And so we went there to go back. So there's the number 3. So city would be 4. And you got to go through and change each one of those. That way everything's formatted to VLOOKUP. And you should be able to go from there. Okay, now Chad just talked about how we use the VLOOKUP to draw the customer information. So that would get put on the invoice for the customer information, the shipping information, the customer's terms, like the discount, the discount days. And now we can use that same VLOOKUP formula to find the product information. So what we do is click on description, and we do uh, the same thing. We'd go to formulas, insert function, we'd have the VLOOKUP in there. And instead of referencing the customer spreadsheet, we'd reference the product spreadsheet. So we'd... Um, Let's see, first we'd reference, we'd want all that in there, all the data. And um, let's see, hold on here. There we go. So we have that, all the data referenced in there. And then to specify the description in the, the, the spreadsheet, it's under column two. So we'd have a two in there. And again, we'd put the false in there to make sure everything's accurate. Right there. Okay. And so now, and just to do the same thing for the, the unit price, we'd also put in the VLOOKUP formula. 
but then the only difference is we change the column index number, which we changed to 3 because the unit price is in the third column on the spreadsheet, right there. And now with that properly in, we can accurately show how the VLOOKUP works. We can go to the product number and type, let's say, product 104, hit enter, and that comes up as the description of the plan. It also has the, the unit price, which is $4 right there. And now we do the little totaling boxes. We do the total price. We do the simple formula of quantity times the unit price. And that gives us the total price for that purchase. And then we also do the same thing for the, the row below. And now we do the subtotal. We do a simple sum formula, summing those two together. And we add the sales tax and the shipping. And then now to get our final total, we would do a simple sum formula of the subtotal, sales tax, and the shipping. OK. And now, just to make sure. Um, to show you how you can lock your, your automated invoice spreadsheet down to prevent any tampering or any uh, mistakes in the keystrokes by the, the clerk in the wrong cells. We simply go to um, Format. We clicked on Format Cells in the very bottom. And now we go to Locked. So we lock all the cells down. We click OK. And to let the clerk have only access to the certain cells he needs, we go back to Format Cells. We uncheck Unlock. We do that for customer number, the product quantity, and also the invoice number up at the top of the page. And now we create a password to protect the sheet. Just type in Aloha. We confirm the password. Okay, and now the, the whole spreadsheet's uh, tamper-proof. So now we can try to type in something in the description. Oh, and there's a, an error that comes up. But now the clerk has access only to the yellow boxes, the only thing he needs access to, like the customer numbers, the product numbers, and the quantities sold. OK, and that right there is our simple uh, do-it-yourself automated invoice. And that's all done using the VLOOKUP. Mm -hmm.